Are your SketchUp projects lacking site context? Did you know that SketchUp actually has great geolocation function where you can both know the Google Map location for your project and integrate it into the graphics? Well, it does, and I will show you how. I'm Brandon, founder and architect at I Am The Studio. And in this video, I introduced the geolocation feature in SketchUp for you to use with your projects. PhotoMatch is actually another similar tool that's really great with SketchUp, and I have included a link to that in the video links. I'm going to do that with MotionForm channel, so just be interested and check that out. Do me a favor, subscribe to the Am Studio channel if you like content like this, and click the bell for the notification for more. SketchUp has some nice built-in tools, also that help you get more realistic, and those are the photo match and geolocation tools. Uh, I'm actually going to start with the geolocation tools and we're going to use an example for finding out a little more about a location um, on, a, on a site. So if you're doing a project, you might say, hey, I want to see how it looks on site. And it will, it will do this. Uh, and I'll show you as we look at it. Uh, first, you go to the file menu, geolocate. We have to add a location. And when we do this, uh, immediately it loads in a map of your address. Uh, I use this address a lot. Um, so this is 661 Madison Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. So this area that I know well. So you see there's a level of detail. It typically goes in for the closest detail. So I want to get this area. Um, this tool will help me import this map into SketchUp. And when it imports it, after looking at the map type, you can also choose just showing the streets or you can show the satellite image. You select the region. And you can change the size and which center it has. It says it can tile the boundaries. So uh, there's a couple different settings you play around with. Um, so here we have it, a scale map of a location. And so what, what do we do with this? Well, thankfully, because of Google Earth, we can also start finding out a little more information about the things on here. But if we just basically want to so, okay, this is a site. Maybe we can go ahead and start drawing some rectangles. If you make it into a group, not a component, a, a group, go inside. And we actually can rotate this group. Um, and one thing to note is, uh, before we edit anything, is that this is true north. So if you go down on the view command, we can uh, minimize this. Uh, if you go and look at the views, north will always be going up this way. The top is where north is. South is going this way, and then west is this way, and east is this way. And when this file is imported from geolocation, it is automatically going to be pinned down. You see, you can't move it. You press M. Uh, so you have to go to your um, your default tray, scroll up. I'm going to pin it again. click on it and you can unpin it. So we are going to be losing the north, but if you're not using that, it's fine. Uh, one benefit of that, of course, is um, you will uh, preserve your location. Um, and I'll actually uh, start with a little bit of masses. I'm going to, I'm going to go in this mass. So you can't see it from outside. Do I say 
that sort of distance. Uh, so this is just playing around with masses. Um, maybe I just want to throw some boxes along and SketchUp is great for this sort of thing as well. And you can go through a process of sketching all the lines, but you probably want for sure things to be orthogonal. So I would say one way to cheat this for you is to just pretty much uh, get those edges. For your map. And, and even maybe just do it this way, where you will uh, unlock it, just for the purpose of making a copy. So we already unlocked it. And we're going to rotate it. So we have a an accurate uh, orthogonal view because right now I draw in the buildings here I can copy this but it's not going to be the same as if I just came at each one of these little rectangles and more or less um, just started drawing the profiles So you can go in there, just draw it how it looks. And even if you need to rotate it, you can do that. And you can come in here and do the same thing, this size. Just come over here. So I could set a bit of an arbitrary height to each one of these. And this doesn't have to be accurate. But the idea is now you can go ahead and say let's Let's turn these into a group. And all we need to do to be more accurate, take this group. Let's put it right next to this previous group. And just generally going to get it to where we want it. I'll maybe do a little bit further. Here to here. So we delete the old one. You can see this. So now, as we know, this is about a city block. Now we turn on the shadows and the geolocate is going to have accurate shadows. So you see the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. And you can see what it is throughout the year. So this is useful if you're trying to have an accurate saying, oh, if I want to build a new building here, And I want that building to be taller than everything else. And I want to move this down. Then surely that will help me understand what's going on throughout the year in that building also by using the context. And to get an accurate view of what's happening in this site, we're going to save this as uh, our 
test geolocate. We always can go to looking at Google Earth. And from Google Earth, we can go to Maps. And in Maps, we just uh, Madison Avenue, uh, Memphis. That's more what we're looking for. <laughs> so we see the same map here. If you want to see what's actually happening, you can say, you know, this is sort of the actual situation. And so we just adjust to what we have here. And so here's another cool thing that we can do, even with Google Earth. Um, if we come back out. Um, and we, if we see a building that we like, um, maybe this building, we don't need to move too much. We say, hey, you know, maybe I want to take this image. That'd be a use for photo match. I'm the Studio is your home for growing the best design and software skills. And we're glad to bring you this episode from our complete SketchUp Guide series. I'm Brandon, your instructor for this video. And if you enjoyed it, then go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications. See you in the next video.